Hey everybody, welcome back to Cold Call Reaction Videos. I am Ryan, and we also have Jay here. What's going on, Jay? Hey guys, how's it going? So we have been doing this a few times now, and we have a software into the education space uh, by Sammy. So one of our US-based SDRs here at Superhuman, and we're gonna react based on a whole bunch of things. Tonality, uh, delivery, following the H2H -H process, tactics, technique, personality, all those things that make up a cold call uh, in the 21st century, all in an effort to build trust. And this is one of our uh, clients' uh, campaigns, and we've been working with them for quite a while, if it's the one I'm thinking of. Um, so we do have a few that go software to education, but uh, I think we know which one this is. I don't think I've heard this. I know Jay hasn't heard this, so let's give it a whirl. You ready? I'm ready. Hello, I was trying to reach the Director of Student Engagement and Activities. Okay, give me one second. Let me see what I can find here. Trying to find the Director of Student Engagement. Okay, I can transfer you over to that extension. Thank you so much. You're very welcome transferring there. Since 1906, College of the... Hello. Hello, my name is Sammy, and I am with the great... Are you responsible for um, student engagement or scheduling events at your location? Yes, ma'am. And Okay, so... That was good. Uh, a little different, you know, looking for the person, this person's name or the person in charge of scheduling events. Uh, you know, but if we don't have the name, we can just say, hey, looking for the person in charge of scheduling events. And she did confirm, right? Because, you know, when we're looking at who we need to speak with, I think there's a misconception that we either have to know the person's name 100% or ask for a title. And that's not true, right? We really are trying to find who is responsible for the area in which we're trying to call about or who would use the product or service that we're calling about right and so we've identified that it's more of a department head or a, a area of responsibility than a true title because those can change from org to org right yeah, uh, so yeah so he's confirmed that so let's see what they what, what they have to say from here and he goes what did you and where did you say you were from what did you say you're from i am with the great um, okay we build custom outdoor digital escape adventures for schools. So rather than generic icebreakers, tours, or photo scavenger hunts, um, your students just need to download our app, and then they can play a team-based escape adventure at your location. Okay. Do you guys currently have any fun and interactive events that take very little time to plan set up for this school year? Uh, a couple. Okay. I'm definitely okay, so let's pause there. So uh, I'm actually gonna go back a minute. So I really like that opening line. You know, I think when we talk about, this is a consultative script from what I remember, what I can tell, right? So it's a statement and an open discovery question that's very specific. But I like when, when our team has a very, very easy quick prop. You know, one of the things that can be a challenge is when um you know one of the things that can be difficult is uh when we have to deliver some type of really verbose and high you know vocabulary delivery of a quick prop because that just doesn't come off as easy to understand and also just comes off as salesy a lot of times right so by saying something like that we have a digital escape you know app you know it's it's very easy to start picking up what this could be you know, and then going right into the question. So let's see what that, let's see that again. And they can play a team-based escape adventure at your location. I'll start or this one here. Photo scavenger hunt. We build Sorry. custom outdoor digital escape adventures for schools. So rather than generic icebreakers, tours, or photo scavenger hunts, um, your students just need to download our app, and then they can play a team-based escape adventure at your location. Okay. Do you guys... 
set up for this school year. So what are your, what are your thoughts on that quick prop and hone in? Jay, give, give me your feedback on that opening. Um, so, you know, me calling on that script before, I particularly don't use that hone in from line to line. I yeah. am not opposed to it, but I don't like to devalue their time, you know, and not that there's anything wrong to it, but when they say like, does it take, do you have any events that take any, that take very little time to plan? To me, it just sounds a little distant, but um, I would okay. definitely, um, can see where she's coming from, obviously, from, you know, the fact that there's not much that they have to do, but downloading an app and getting getting it going. So I kind of yeah, well, understand. How would you rephrase that? How would you rephrase that, Jay, if you, if you could? I know you don't have the script in front of you, but what would be a better, what would you think of as a better discovery question or opening question? Me, I, I would, and the way I've done it was, do you guys have any events that you've that takes time from your planning or takes you know just instead of that very little i just take out that that word and kind of use the same line but at the oh. same time um trying to get the same message you know yeah so i i think i think i like what you're saying there you know and i think that would be a script adjustment i think she, what she's saying is pretty accurate to what the messaging was written as but what you're kind of saying is like hey we don't want to devalue anybody's uh time or saying like they're wasting their time um you know and maybe make it separate the uh person from the problem but i really do like the fact that they the message speaks to a pain and she delivered it that way right she would she's That's trying right. to get across is hey do you have any you know solution to help you know that, that doesn't take much time because knowing the industry you know, our client really understands the market and how much maybe time is invested, you know, in prepping and planning orientations and, you know, uh, team tours and things of that nature. And so to be able to then speak to, hey, do you have a solution that helps kind of reduce that in some aspect? I like slipping it in, in there in that fashion. And yeah, maybe it could be massaged a little bit more and worded a bit differently to separate those two things. Is that what you're getting at or, or am I missing what you're saying there, Jay? No, absolutely exactly like you said it on the spot like i get where she was coming from and i get that that's exactly like the purpose of it and that's why it's used so yeah exactly <laughs> understood understood so yeah separating the person from the problem and trying to ensure that the the prospect doesn't feel like you know we're we're trying to diminish their uh, their time or that they've been wasting it without, you know, not using our service, essentially. A uh, couple. Okay. I'm definitely glad to see that you guys are, you know, doing something. Um, so with our company, it takes one 15-minute meeting, um, and then we build you a custom experience, which can be played by any number of players. Um, teams are outside competing on one leaderboard. And since every puzzle has built-in hints, um, nobody ever gets kind of stuck. And your coordinators don't have to do anything. Um, there's no equipment to set up. There's no, you know, fees or anything associated with flying somebody out or renting equipment. Um, it takes less than 30 minutes to set up. And after that, the students are on their own. Um, they are one to hour escape adventures. The storyline is completely customized. It highlights the campus, which is a fun way for students to learn what makes your campus really unique. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, it's just a really fun way to get your students, whether they are current students or um, your next year's incoming students, really engaged with the campus. Okay. Um, so I was kind of hoping to see if within the next week or so you had any availability for a quick Google Meet with my CEO, Alex, so that he could go over this a little bit more in detail with you and show you a little bit of a demonstration of what it is you do. Sure.
fantastic. All right, so let's pause there. A lot of stuff just happened. <laughs> what, was, what was your feeling from the time that you know she had finished asking the hone in to finishing the calling crop and moving on to the next steps? What is your what is your thoughts? What are your thoughts there? Um, I do want to give her, you know, definitely the kudos and value for getting that getting that set. That was great. The guy was like, sure, you know, definitely got the message across clear. Um, one thing I've learned saying less sometimes is more. So I would have kind of like given him room to speak, but we all get, you know, it just happens over the call sometimes where we just yeah. deliver that message. So yeah, she did really well. The guy definitely seemed to have understood what she said and had definitely an interest of it. Yeah. I, I and I think, you know, really sometimes we what what I tell our leadership team and, and those who listen to recordings, uh, even our clients, that many times we need to focus less on the caller's delivery and more on how the prospect is responding, right? Because if they're if they've connected with the prospect and that prospect is engaged, then you know it kind of proves the process, doesn't it? In some ways. Exactly. Now, sometimes we could say that you know a, a meeting is set despite a script or despite a delivery because it's a great product and it just might be right timing for them. But I think in this instance, what I liked about her delivery was she really made she really used her tonality to keep me engaged in listening to that she paused she had different inflections on words as she went through to then ask for that next step you know but a hundred percent that was probably you know we recommend 25 to 40 words you know and maybe a uh, one other sentence or so for a, a, a some kind of benefit feature accolade before they re-engage but that was certainly probably like 400 to 500 words. <laughs> it was a lot. But she did great. She did good though. It was. She did. She did because all the things she said were were good. But we don't really know where they're at unless we check in and get them to respond. There's a lot of information when you're not expecting a call from somebody. Absolutely. You know. Absolutely. But at the end of the day, she got the meeting. He was like, "Sure." So let's see how she closes it out. See, we are in Central Standard Time, correct? Yes, ma'am. All righty. How about we get you scheduled for next Thursday, the 25th? Next Thursday, okay. All right. What time? Um, do you prefer mornings or afternoons? Mornings. All right. The earliest availability I have on that day is 9.30 a.m. That's great. All righty. And... May I have your last name and best email? All right, and just to clarify. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I just wanted to clarify. I was spelling your name right. And um, what would your official title be with the school? Um, Director of Student Engagement. Okay. <laughs> uh, maybe he doesn't have a title. <laughs> That was odd. He said it with a question mark, didn't he? Yeah, he sounded confused, like on his old <laughs> title. <laughs> that yeah. was great, though. That was I good. Like that. I'm glad that she confirmed that. I thought so, but I did not want to assume. <laughs> nice work, Sammy. If I could stop. There we go. All righty. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to get an email sent over um, that's going to have your booking reminder for that um, Google Meet that we're scheduling for 9.30 a.m. Central Standard Time on Thursday, January 25th. Um, and Al will speak with you then and hopefully take next steps forward. Sounds good. All right, Katie, thank you so much for your time today. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Thursday. You too. Thank you. All right, thoughts on the next steps and closing process that was done perfectly you know in my opinion yeah. she she obviously confirmed the email confirmed the details she still created a fun conversation even though there was a lot of stuff going on um the guy you know 
I like the fact that she was very confident with setting the time. Okay, let's do Thursday. Okay, earliest I have is 9.30. It was, it was very confident. Um, and, you know, at the same time, built that trust. So good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well done on her. And I love how clear she speaks, how excited she sounds about meeting the person and kind of discussing the value of the offering and how much, you know, he engaged in a, in a way that could have been more, you know, as we've kind of discovered is she could have engaged him more to, to get him more excited, but he certainly wasn't disinterested and, you know, seemed to be very curious if I had to pick a word. So there you have it. Any final thoughts, Jay? I thought that was great. Um, good job, Sammy. And yeah, thank you for, for having me today again. You got it. All right, everyone. See you next time.